Hi friends, uh, in this video today we will show you how to change the hard drive of the Dell Inspiron 15R. This holds good for the 14R, N4010, N5010, N5110 as well as the N4110 series of notebooks. All these notebooks have the same way of removing the hard drive. Now a common uh, notion would be the hard drive would be somewhere here, just need to open the screws and uh, you can change the hard drive but it's not the same for this particular laptop. That is the reason I have made this video. As you can see there are these four screws here. These are the screws which are holding the hard drive from the inside. But you cannot just remove the hard drive from here. You have to open the entire laptop, all the screws uh, that you are seeing here and then you have to uh, remove it. Let us just start by removing the hard drive screws. These are the four screws which are holding the hard drive here. The entire laptop has to be split open so that you can remove the hard drive from here. So as you can see there are screws here. So all the screws that you can see you have to just remove all the screws that are visible. All the screws, cavities that you see here, remove all the screws here. Just check if there is any screw here in the inside. Just holding the panel in the within. The screws are of the same size, you need not worry about which screw will go where, as you can see here. In this video you will also come to know how you change the keyboard of your Dell Inspiron 15R or the 14R. This method holds good for all the R series of Inspiron notebooks that have been there. So as you can see all the screws have been removed and now we get ready to remove. You just take something like this, a small chisel kind of a thing and start removing For that you need to remove the keyboard. There are these small holders which hold the keyboard. You just need to press them from the within. As you can see the keyboard comes out, this is the way you would remove the keyboard, these two screws amongst the screws that we have removed, just remove it and keep it placed. Now you see some more screws here, you need to remove all these screws, keep these screws on one side, do not mix these screws with the screws that you have opened in the base. Totally there are 5 screws uh, which you need to remove here. And very slowly remove these strips.
in this strip also is all these strips connect uh, now we need to slid open the laptop as you can see just take a chisel kind of a thing plus screwdriver starts here it comes out as you can see it was a little rough don't mind but here it is and here is where your hard drive is so finally we have reached the hardware part of the laptop the motherboard the fan the dvd drive you want to change the dvd drive also you need to uh, do all this that we have done now the wi-fi chip is here okay so we need to change the hard drive now as we've already unscrewed from the uh, base we just need to that's it don't get worried this is uh, just a small connector that we have here so this is the hard drive this is to go out and a new hard drive has to come in so this is a new hard drive which we want to put in All right that's it very gently and that's it it gets directed even the VGA cable uh, is connected here as you can see you can remove the VGA cable from here if the VGA cable is problematic I've already shown in the earlier videos how you change the screen of uh, 15R so so we again reassemble the hard drive is fit inside now we need to again put in the panel back into its place and connect all the strips back to their original positions just need to press it a little bit so that it fits appropriately here ok so we need to again connect all the strips back to the original position very gently you have to be very very careful when you are connecting and disconnecting these strips so if you want to change the keyboard just take another keyboard change it get it back and just fit it this way need to screw the things back of the five screws that you had removed you just need to put it all back into their respective places This is the fifth screw going in now. It's totally five screws uh, that we unscrewed be below the keyboard have been now screwed back, and just use these things to slid inside the keyboard, the main panel, and just give a gentle push. You will get a locking sound, which means the keyboard is now set. Go back and start 
screwing back the screws that you have removed Screws have to go back. It's a bit of a lengthy procedure uh, for this particular Dell Inspiron series of notebooks, but can't help it. Small screws away for the hard drive, so I'm fitting that back on the base of the hard drive, as you can see. Screw remaining, which goes here. I have done this without removing the battery, so I would suggest you remove the battery and then do it. I am using an anti static uh, equipment, which should not be a problem for me, but if you are not using an anti static equipment, then you have to remove the battery and do whatever you want to do with your little machine that you have here. So this is it. Let's see now put booting into the OS now. Hard disk has been detected and uh, the OS is loading because the hard drive that we used was there already loaded with an OS so absolutely fine and this is it my friend this is the hardware upgradation for a Dell Inspiron 15R or a 14R notebook that you want to do hands on thanks a lot for watching guys